Dice Direct is a division of PMA Photo Metals Incorporated, an American manufacturing facility. Dice Direct develops new etched metal dies for resellers worldwide. They also manufacture for rubber stamp companies wishing to offer custom dies to cut out rubber stamp shapes. Lisa is in the Dies Direct booth with Sandy Pedlinski. Hi, Lisa. Hello. I am here in the Dies Direct booth with Sandy, and she's going to show you some fabulous nesting dies. She's going to show you all these great things that you can do with die cutting and embossing. So we're going to stay face with the face cam for a few minutes, and um, then we'll go down to the craft cam when she's ready. So okay. you're on. So Dies Direct is the original manufacturer of all the steel dies in this industry. So what we'd like to show you today is our release for the summer show, and we come out with some stacker dies. The stacker dies are wonderful sets. We have 11 different patterns. They come six different dies in there, and each of the dies nests into the other die, so that you will then have the different shapes that all interface together, so you can make a flat image or you can make a frame. So I'm going to show you today how to make a frame with our nesting dies, and I'm also going to show you how to emboss them. We have 22 designs of our new embossing templates that are 6 by 8. That is awesome because it will fit almost any project that you're thinking of making. I'm going to pause for one second. Linda, I see that you're in the queue. Did you need to interrupt us? And um, if you do, just kick us out right now and I'll come right back in. No? Okay. <laughs> just to know if there were some questions or anything else. All right. Thanks. Back to you. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do here for you is I am going to show you how you can make this nice mat with one of our cove rectangle nesting dies. These dies are thin metal that can be used on any tabletop machine that you probably currently already own. So you can use it on a cuddle bus, on a big shot. You can also use it on your Revolution or your Epic. So any tabletop machine that you already own will be just fine. The first thing that I do, I'm going to be using a big shot today because that's the machine I'm comfortable with. You're going to use your mat. You're going to take the tab two, open it up, put down your, your mat, put down your thin metal die. You're then going to apply your paper and then put your next mat on. You're going to run it through the machine and you will receive this, this as your image. But what I want to show you how to do is how to make a frame. So with this die, we, it comes with metal. You're going to place your metal in the center. You're then going to take your smaller shape, place it in the position that you want. Is that a magnet? Yes, it is. And each package comes with a full sheet of magnet so that you can nest your dies. Oh, so now, you custom cut the magnet to the size you need. You can custom cut it, or you can just use a little scrap piece. Very cool. I custom cut mine. Then you're going to center this inside of your die so that you can make a frame. Um, with our stackers, there's six in a set, but we recommend that when you put it through that you never stack more than two at a time. So you would use your base die, then plus the stack. Can you show one of those packages really quick that shows the whole thing so they know what to look for on the shelves? So this is what you're going to see, and it's going to be by Dyes Direct, and then we make a full color image to show you the multiple layers that are within the die. So I now have my coved rectangle. I'm going to use coordination cardstock. It's two-sided. So I have green on one side, brown on the other. I'm going to put my paper, then I'm going to put my mat on top, and I'm going to run it through my big shot. No, you know what I did? See, being so nervous having not done this before, I, I lift fine. up my tab. When I should have left my tab down for cutting, I lift my tab up when I embossed. So I'm going to run this through my machine to get a cut. Let me pull the machine over. And now with this cut, I open it up, and I have this piece here, which is the smaller piece from the cut, and then I have my nice frame. That's so cool. Okay, so those two pieces are cut from a single sheet of paper with our coved rectangles. Now what I'd like to show you how to do is how to emboss this frame. So that's a new concept to the market right now. So this is going to be something that you can really wow your friends. 
So just with a, with a stipple die and with an embossing plate. I'm not sure if you can see the nice, this is some pearlized paper with a leaf embossing. It's one of our 22 different images. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm going to hold it up a little closer. And I'll, and I'll show you, can you here. See, can you see the texture on that paper? Look at that. Lovely. And this is the template that we use to get that texture. This is our leaf and vine template. So what I'm going to do is on my tab, I'm going to put my, my die down. Then I'm going to put my paper on top of it. Then I'm going to use two rubber mats. The two rubber mats give me a nice, deep, embossed image. And this is all going to be run through my Big Shot. So with your Big Shot, you're going to use your cutting pad on top, even though we're not cutting. We're just embossing. So I'm going to bring my machine back over. I'm going to set that down firmly onto the mat that comes with the machine. And we're going to run this through. Thank you for holding my machine. <laughs> we are all working as a team. You guys can't see this, but is it? Are you? Is this your mother? Yeah. So Gail, um, Gail. <laughs> Sandy. Sandy's daughter. Gail was my earlier interview. I'm so sorry. Um, Sandy's daughter is helping by holding and adjusting the camera. So we are quite the team of three here. Okay. So I I sent this through the machine. Let me just show you. This is I took it apart. If you remove this, you remove your rubber, and then here you'll see that I have this nice embossed image. Now, it's a very nice surface when you're up close and personal with it. It has a lot of texture, and it feels nice to touch. It's one of those things you just want to reach out and touch it. But I'm going to really show nice. you something. With the coordination paper, and we're using their little sanding block, and thank you to them for donating the paper for this project. I'm just going to rub the sanding block gently over my coordination paper. You can go in multiple different directions, but I just want to oh. show you the neat effect that you can get with this. What a reveal that is. So see if you look up nice and close. You're, you're basically scraping away the top laminate layer of the paper to reveal the other color underneath, right? That's, that's correct. Oh, that's so cool. And you can even get a more depth and more distressed look by adding some ink. So this is just some Ranger ink that we can run over the surface. If you see that, I'm going to show you a couple other samples that we have with the same Love that. idea. So this is our embossed image, and this is on a piece of patterned paper, and we have multiple different colors of ink applied to it to give you that different look. This is another one here, and then now we're going to show you a finished project. So this project here, which is Autumn Blessing, was made with our Coke rectangle die. Then we cut a window out with our one of our oval stackers. So of the 11 different sets, don't, don't be afraid to mix them up and interchange the pieces because then you can get lots of different effects. So the 11 sets, you've got squares, you've got circles, ovals, the uh, this beveled frame. You've got, ooh, that one's pretty. That's the... Um, French flare. French flare, I love that. And then there's a scalloped French flare. Wow, and then there's a, oh, that's really fun. So that's, there's a lot of choices there. Now this is another project that we made with the coordination paper, and this is using our butterfly embossed six by eight die. So you can see the different effects that you can get. I'm just gonna turn this project over. It's a nice little card, but it shows you the solid bag, and then when you turn it over, if you fold the coordination paper over, you can see the, blue, the back blue side, so it gives you a nice contrast. Now when we made this project, we, um, we sanded it, but there's another technique that we have that you can use. You would use one of our embossing plates. This is one of our circle ones. I love this pattern. It's that just, is it, so modern looking. I love it. It's, I like it. It looks contemporary, but it also looks like bubbles or water drops to me. So because it looks like water, I chose our blue transfer paper. We also sell transfer paper. It kind of has a waxy finish, and when you use it with a sheet of cardstock, it will transfer the paper onto your cardstock. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take my embossing plate, I'm going to put my transfer paper on top of my embossing plate face up, and I'm going to put my cardstock on top of it. Then I'm going to take my rubber mat because we're embossing, and I'm going to put my rubber mat on top. I'm going to put my, I'm, because I'm using the Big Shot, I'm going to put my pad on the bottom, I'm going to put my cutting pad on top, but we won't be cutting because we are using our rubber pads, which will make any die an embossing die. So we're going to run this through. Ooh, table.
little shaking with the rolling. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. So quickly here, this is what my transfer paper, and look what it did to my project. So that oh, little yummy. paper transferred on. That's great. These are really fun. So be looking for Dive Direct in your local stores. Just go into those stores and ask them for Dive Direct. Dive Direct are American made. Everything's done right here in the company. We have fast turnaround times. We can also make custom dyes. So that local school mascot that you've been looking for and you can't find a dye to make of that mascot, tell that store owner to give Dive Direct a call. And for a nominal fee, they can make one dye just for you that is yours and yours alone. Very cool. We love custom. Custom, custom. Yay. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. Back to you.